More bad news on the climate today. Uh, this is from Vice News. The atmosphere now contains more carbon dioxide than in all of human history. Oh my goodness. So they say, one of the most significant contributors to climate change shows no signs of slowing down. On Tuesday, Hawaii's Mauna Loa Ob Observatory found that there is now more planet warming carbon dioxide in the atmosphere than ever previously recorded in human history. More than 410 parts per million. And as the atmosphere continues to trap more heat, Earth's climate is quickly approaching numbers unseen in the past 50 million years. This number is likely to increase since carbon dioxide emissions, a major contributor to climate change, as they block heat from leaving the atmosphere, can take anywhere between 20 and several hundred thousand years to disappear from the planet. So even though global carbon emissions have remained flat for the past three years, those emissions remain extremely difficult to eradicate. Before the Industrial Age, carbon dioxide leveled off at about 280 parts per million. But in 2013, the Mauna Loa Observatory found that carbon dioxide levels had permanently surpassed the 400 parts per million mark. Even at the time, the measurement was extraordinary because the atmosphere hadn't contained that much carbon dioxide in the past 10 to 15 million years. More than 195 countries pledged to cut down on their greenhouse gas emissions as part of the Paris Climate Accords, which aimed to help the global temperature from increasing 2 degrees Celsius, the temperature rise that scientists have long cited as irreversible tipping point that could potentially leave the planet too hot for human habitation. This new carbon dioxide measurement is not good news for people hoping that effort is working. But it will likely have little impact on U.S. policy as President Donald Trump already looks prepared to gut the United States' participation in the Paris Accords. <sighs> yeah, uh, we're looking at a runaway greenhouse gas effect. And that means that eventually, yes, the Earth is not habitable for human beings. I mean, this is, we're destroying ourselves, basically. And we're talking about 410 parts per million. They're saying numbers unseen in the past 50 million years. 50 million years. This is not fine. And they say, even if we reverse and go in the right, even if we woke up tomorrow and everything was 100% green, renewable energy, guess what? You still feel the reverberating effects because that's, this stuff stays in the atmosphere well after we stop spewing it into the atmosphere. Sound the alarm, worst case scenario, worse than the worst case scenario. We're fucking killing ourselves and we have a government that doesn't even believe in the problem. They don't. They don't know. They don't care. They're too busy serving ExxonMobil, the oil companies. Trump picked the Secretary of State. It was ExxonMobil CEO. And now they're not... The Paris Agreement is not a Paris Treaty because the Republicans in Congress rejected making it a treaty. And now we're not even going to abide by the Paris Agreement, which was like the Gentleman's Agreement. Okay, it is not law, but let's kind of reduce emissions. Now we're not even going to do that. I don't know if I have any hope. <laughs> I'm just going to lay it out there, man. Because on this issue, this issue is too dire and it needs immediate attention. And it's not getting it. In fact, we're going in the opposite direction and we have a bunch of fucking monkey idiots running the country. And around the world, you know, others are more serious about this issue than us, but it ain't enough, man. It ain't enough. We got to get to fully renewable energy ASAP. I mean, maybe 2030 is the soonest we could do it. But that's what we got to push for. And there are so many job opportunities as a result of it. If we do, if we, we get the patents in green technology and renewable energy, then, you know, that's the next economic boom is green technology. But we have to go down that path. We need a giant new New Deal, an infrastructure project, fully move off of oil and gas, and it, save the fucking planet for the future. This isn't some hippie fucking code pink, woo, free love everybody argument. This is like, hardcore, rigid, stone-cold science that I'm, uh, that I'm telling you, and the time to act is now. The time to act was fucking years ago, but definitely, definitely now.